Two New Orleans high schoolers may be making history in math. Kelsey Johnson and Nakaya Jackson say they have proved the Pythagorean theorem in a way mathematicians have been trying to do for centuries and many thought was impossible. And Kelsey and Nakaya are here with me live to tell us all about it. Girls, thank you so much for being on. Uh, Kelsey, you say you found a way to prove the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, using trigonometry without circular logic. Now, for those of us who don't remember high school math, explain this to me like I'm five. Okay. So basically, the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so that the two sides of a triangle, an isosceles right triangle, when squared equals the square of the hypotenuse. So that's basically the theorem. And what we did is we solved it using trigonometry. And it has been done in the past by other people, but the proofs have not really been trigonometric. They've been like algebraic or like calculus based, but this is really using like the trigonometric rules, like actually doing the, um, the ratios for like sine and tan. And we use trigonometry and the law of sines to prove Pythagoras in a way that has not been done before. Okay, I understood about half of that, I'll be honest. But, <laughs> but I know you talk about circular logic, which sounds a bit like using a, a word to define its own definition. And you're saying you didn't use circular logic in this case. Exactly. Nakaya, how did you figure this out? And what was your reaction when you thought, oh, I think we just did it? Okay, so it all started when we had a math contest, like during Christmas break, and there was a bonus question. So we kind of just... <clears throat> went from there. We tried many different things. Like it was a lot of trial and error. And eventually we just came upon it. Now, Kelsey, similar claims to yours do exist. And your claim has not gone through an academic peer review process or been confirmed by other experts in the field. But the American Mathematical Society is now saying that you should submit your findings to a journal. What do you think about that? I think that's something that we're definitely going to consider doing. And we most likely will do that, go through with that process and have it peer reviewed. And Akai, I know you recently presented this at a conference. You were the only high schoolers there by a mile. This is usually a place attended just by university researchers. What was that experience like and what has this experience been like in general? Well, at first, before going up, I was very nervous. But once I got up and started talking, it just, it felt like the words just started to flow. So. So Kelsey, what's next for you both? Um, definitely getting it peer reviewed. And then honestly, our for our personal lives, just going to college and finishing out our high school careers. Well, super impressive, regardless of the outcome of that peer review. Thank you both for coming on and sharing your story with us. We appreciate it and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.